Hey everyone, Scott aka Elmer Prepper here. I uh, just wanted to go through do another quick video for you. Um, as I told you in the last video, we were going to go over the topic of homemade MREs. All in all, they're very simple to put together. I think that they're honestly a little bit better. Um, I, it's been a long time since I had an MRE, but the thing that I like about these is they are the ones that you put together yourself. You know what you like, you know what you don't like. You can take whatever you want that's pretty much dried and put it into this type of a uh, system and at the same time you're going to have your own version of an MRE. So but before we get into that, um, whenever you're doing any type of strenuous work, it's best to have about 2,000 calories a day. So, with these MREs that I have personally designed and put together for me, equal out to be about 2,000 calories, if not a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. But the thing with these is, I know that it's all food that I'm going to eat. So, with that, uh, all that, they're going to be what I want if the shit hits the fan and I don't have a uh, reputable food source. I actually keep these actually in my truck, so if something should happen to happen, I have food right there readily available. Um, actually, I have three of these put together that are in my truck and are, is in my makeshift 72-hour uh, bag. Also, another thing with MREs is it seems like it's just one meal. These MREs that I put together is it's one meal for an entire day. Meaning that I have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks all put together in this one bag. We're going to go through my MRE, how I make them, and uh, hopefully this will be beneficial for you guys as well. And once again, any questions, let me know. And I'll do my best to actually uh, go through and answer them and help you guys out as much as I can. Let's go ahead and go over our MRE. We're going to start off with breakfast because, well, even though I'm not a breakfast person, I never have been, probably never will be, but you need to fuel your body so that way you can keep on moving if you have to in a shit hits a fan situation or you're stranded and have to move great distances. So, let's start off with a package of cream of wheat. This will give you about 100 calories. Let's go off to lunch. These things are absolutely amazing. Not sure how well you can see them, because, well, my camera, once again, isn't the greatest, but they can do with what I have. Cheddar broccoli. All you do, go ahead and pour it into a little pan, you know, um, let the water boil, cook them up, you're good as uh, gold right here with these. Moving on to dinner. I got two packages of ramen noodles. Now, you might be wondering, why two packages, just not one? Well, I like ramen noodles. Also on top of that, these have 370 calories a piece. You're going to be hungry at the end of the day. You're going to need a lot of food to actually help replenish what was actually uh, taken out of you. So, these would be a good uh, beneficial thing to have, at least in my personal opinion, your version of an MRE meal. <clears throat> at the end of the day, you just want to sit back, you want to relax. Hot chocolate. Simple. It's good. It's a feel-good meal, I guess you could say. From there comes the beloved snacks. While you're moving about, you're going to get hungry. It might not be time to actually eat a whole meal. You just want to go ahead and take that the craving that you have for food and take it down a couple notches. So, in my packs, 
I keep just some small chewy gr granola bars. Something that's uh, simple, cheap, but also these things are nourishable. Each one of these has 100 calories apiece. So, once again, we're trying to keep the calories up because we're going to be moving quite a bit. Top of that, peanut butter crackers. Once again, they're simple, they're easy, and you just can't go wrong with them in my book. Also, these have calories in them, which is going to help replenish what you need. Finally, another thing to think about is with all this walking and moving that you might be doing, you're, you're going to be sweating a lot. There's a good chance of it. And through sweat, you're going to be losing, well, on top of water, you're also going to be losing electrolytes. Electrolytes are very important to the human body. So, I want to have a Gatorade uh, type drink set for me at the end of the day or during the day, whenever, so that I can actually replenish those electrolytes. Walking around uh, my local grocery store the other day, I found these. They are Gatorade powder packets. All you do is go ahead, rip one of these open, throw it into your water, shake it up, and you have a Gatorade. I've learned that these packets, as great as they are, they're very compact, they're very easy to do, they don't really taste like the Gatorade you would buy from the store. You get the same nutrients, you get the same electrolytes, you get uh, the same calories, all that, but they just don't taste the same. In a shit hits a pan situation, yeah, I care about taste to a point. But the main thing that I care about is me. I care that my health is still going strong. So, that's why I throw this in here. It's because I want to replenish my electrolytes that are possibly being brought down because of sweat. And I just want to combat thirst. I guess you could say to put it in very simple terms. So, what you're going to do with all this food is you're going to put it in like a food saver type bag. And for those of you that do not own a food saver, I highly recommend going and getting one. Some of them you can pick up for 20 to 30 bucks now at Walmart. Or Target is a great place for them. They have brand new ones with all the bells and whistles, which I don't have that one. I have the cheapest one that they have. But at the same time, they work. So, you're going to go ahead and put all your contents into this uh, bag. But then all you're going to do is seal it. You're going to take out all the air, and it's going to seal it for you. And with that, you have pretty much your own MRE. I really wish that right now I could show you how uh, it goes through the process of sealing it, sucking out all the air. Sadly, these things, are, or at least mine, these things make a lot of noise. So I'm going to go ahead and put a video up within the next day or two as to uh, how it works and how it sucks out all the air, how it looks while it's doing it, all that. So right now I'm going to show you one that I've already completed. This one has pretty much everything of, this, uh, of all the contents that I just showed you, but it also has one of the Metrex type um, bars in it. I like to work out a lot, and I have those laying around the house, and I figured, you know what, let's throw one into the uh, bag, see how it turns out. Here is my whole kit. This is a full day's worth of food compressed down and air sealed. So tomorrow what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and show you how I actually made this up and actually show you the whole sealing process 
and give you a couple tips that I learned while working on this project. Alrighty, everyone. Have a uh, great night or day if you're watching this during the day. Stay safe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.